Well, good morning. It is great to be back with you. Uh, on Tuesday, we talked a little bit about King Nebuchadnezzar and, and the pride he shows in Daniel 3 and honestly, throughout the book of Daniel and whenever it talks about King Nebuchadnezzar, he clearly uh, was not someone that followed after God too often, although he does praise him at different times. Um, but this morning, I wanted to focus on the three true main characters of the story Pastor Brandon talked about, and that's Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Now, these, these men did something that I think most of us would love to say, yeah, I would have done the same thing. But what, what we ask in chapter or in discussion question number five is what would you do if you were them? If you were put in that same situation, if, if you, it was literally a law to worship this gold statue or else you would be put to death in a furnace, what would you do? And it, I think it's easy for us on the outside to say, oh yeah, I'd, I'd worship God, I wouldn't do it. But we need to really wrestle with that. Is my faith really that strong that if things got uncomfortable like that, I'd be willing to, to cling to my faith instead of my comforts? And, and man, I, I would love to say I would do that, but that is a hard thing to wrestle with because it's not easy in the moment. Now, the, the next couple of questions also talk about, do we have friends like these in our lives? And, and here's why that's such an important question. These three didn't have to do it alone. They all recognized this is the right thing to do. And not only did they have courage because God, I think, supernaturally gave them that courage, but they also had each other to hold accountable. Like, guys, we have to do this. We can't worship this idol. We have to stand by our faith and cling to that more than anything else. Do we have people like that in our lives? Because we desperately need that kind of accountability. Those kind of people that will be there for us, encouraging us to do what we should. And we talked a little bit about that on Tuesday too, just a different dynamic. Those are people holding us accountable when we're doing the wrong thing. We need people to make sure we do the right thing. And that's probably going to be the same person. So be praying, God, who, do you, who have you placed in my life that is also clinging to you, that will help encourage me to cling to you when things get hard because we know they will. John 16, talks about how in this world you will face trials, but take heart, I have conquered the world. Jesus has already won. The cross has already happened. We already know how things are going to play out, but things are going to be hard. And, and through those, we need to cling to God. And, and our natural response, a lot of the time, is the opposite. We start getting angry with Him, and we will try to distance ourselves from Him. And that's just not how we should respond in those moments. So, so with your family or, or whoever you're watching this video with, or maybe just yourself, reflect on how would I really end up doing the same thing as these guys did? And if not, what things can I change? What people do I have in my life that can help encourage me and point me to God's Word Encourage me to pray. Be praying for me so that I might stand up for my faith even when it gets difficult to do. We'll see you guys soon.